Hello, and welcome to your Science Fair Project 2012. Today's lesson is going to be about graphing, making a visual presentation of the data that you have collected so that it can be in a neat and orderly, concise fashion for your Science Fair board and research booklet. There are two ways that we're going to talk about doing our graph today. The first way is going to be using a website that is provided by the government. So if you simply click on Internet Explorer, scroll down on the Computer Lab web page until you get to research, I'm sorry, math, and you will click on the graphing link and it will take you to a government web website where you can create a graph. This allows you to create five different kinds of graphs. Primarily you're going to be interested on, in the bar graph to record your data. So if you click on that link it will take you to the design tab of bar graph and you will use these tabs over here on the right in order to complete your graph. The design tab will allow you to change the direction, the shape, and the style of the graph. You can change colors, grid lines, and all of those things as you see fit for your project. The data tab is where you will actually input the data that you are going to be using. The data that we have is going to be, let's just call this, uh, how many kernels? A little creative title there. And the x-axis label that you're going to see right here, x-axis goes horizontal and that you're going to list the brand name of popcorn. And the y-axis, which goes vertically up and down, that will be the number of kernels. And you can simply put kernels and then n in parentheses to indicate number. Data set allows you to make two different changes. Items would be the number of items that you are testing, and in this case, we tested three brands of popcorn and the number of trials that you have for each one is going to be groups and in this case we had three trials. The group label you're simply going to put trial one, trial two, and trial three. Under the item label you will put the brand name of popcorn that was tested and in this case, we did Orville Redenbacher. Oops, sorry. And the first trial had 427 kernels pop. The second had 404. And the third had 396. The second brand of popcorn that we tested was Pop Secret. First trial had 343. The second trial had 312, and the third trial had 311. The third brand of popcorn we have was Act 2, and the Act 2 had 296 kernels, 315 kernels, and 299 kernels. Now keep in mind we only tested the number of popped kernels. We did not test the number of unpopped kernels. So if that is complete, you can click on the Labels tab, which will allow you to change the font, the font size, the color, and such. I'm not going to do any changing there. You can experiment with that on your own and decide what will look best on your project board. Finally, the Preview tab will allow you to see a visual representation of your graph. Again, these colors could be changed. We have Trial 1 for each brand in the green and we have trial 2 in purple and trial 3 in orange. You can click on and change the font if you wish to do so. Whatever works best for your presentation. One difficult thing about this particular program is printing. If you click on the print tab right here, you need to click print once, then you need to click print twice, then you need to come up here and click print a third time. What that will do is create a PDF of your graph. It prints it to the screen rather than printing it to the printer. 
Now, if you wish to print it to the printer, you need to go to File, and you need to Print, and you need to click on OK, and that will send your graph to the printer. The second type of graphing that we're going to do is going to be using Microsoft Excel. Microsoft Excel is a little bit more advanced of a program that is actually used in businesses and corporations for tracking their accounting. We are going to put here the brand name of the popcorn in the first three columns. secret and the third one is act 2. If it makes it easier for you you can click between these two columns and stretch out the column width. And again you're going to have to list trial 1, trial 2, and trial 3. In each of these boxes you're going to put the data that we collected. 427, 404, 396. Pop secret, 343, 312, and 311. Act, 296, 315, and 299. Notice that I don't put the word kernel or number or anything in there. We are strictly dealing with numeric values in here. The thing that you will have to do next is to highlight starting in cell A1 down and over until all of your data from this would be called the data table until all of your data is highlighted. And if you come right up here you will see the chart wizard. It looks like a little mini bar graph and you can click on that bar graph and it will allow you, it will walk you through making a graph. There are, you can see, four steps. We're going to stick with a column graph. If I click here, it will give me a rough idea what my graph is going to look like. That's about what I want it to be. I can click on Next. There really isn't anything for us to do in here. This would be more of a professional use of this particular uh, step two is a professional use. Uh, if you need to do it, I will explain that to you individually. We click on to step three, and this is where we are going, we are going to put our labels. Again, how many kernels is going to be our title. Notice that each word in a title is capitalized. The x-axis, again, goes horizontally on the bottom. And in this particular case, we're going to put trials and the y-axis is going to go up the side and we're going to put kernels and again put the n in parentheses indicating that is the number of kernels. So we now have a visual representation of our data table. If we click on next, the fourth step, this is probably the trickiest thing to remember. It is quite simple but you need to remember that you want to click on the button for as new sheet. If you click on as object in it will make a graph within this particular spreadsheet, but we want it to make an entirely new sheet, so we will click here, as new sheet, and we will click finish. And your graph will appear right here. Here you can change font sizes, font colors, simply like you would in a word processing program by clicking on them. You can change the color of each of the bars if you wish to do that simply by clicking on them, double clicking on them. You can use any sort of color scheme that you wish. You can click on the background if you wanted to do that. If you used fill effects you could probably find a uh, picture of popcorn and make that your background. You could use texture if you wanted and say OK and that will change the background. Again you can do any of these things that you wish that will make for a smoother presentation on your project and in your research log. Please be careful when you're choosing colors that you use contrasting colors. You need to use light colored bars if you're going to have a dark colored background and you need to use 
dark colored bars if you have a light colored background, otherwise it will be too hard to see. Choose your fonts carefully so they are clear so that the judges can easily read them and make sure that your rules of capitalization and pro proper spelling are followed. That'll do it. You can get started on making your graph by using either one of the two methods that I just showed you. And you should be able to add a very nice visual representation for your science fair project data collection.